Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore the mysterious force that keeps us all grounded, gravity. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Have you ever wondered why when you drop something, it always falls to the ground? Yes. I always see things fall down, but I never thought about why. That's a great observation. The reason things fall is because of a force called gravity. Gravity pulls everything towards the center of the Earth. Can you imagine what would happen if there was no gravity? Hmm, would everything just float around? Exactly. Without gravity, we'd be floating around like astronauts in space. Now, let's think about this. Why don't people living in countries at the bottom of the Earth fall off? Oh, that's tricky. Is it because gravity pulls them towards the center too? You've got it. Gravity pulls everyone and everything towards the center of the Earth, no matter where they are. So down is always towards the center. Now let's do a little experiment. If you drop a feather in a stone, which do you think will hit the ground first? I think the stone will hit first because it's heavier. That's a common thought. But in reality, if there's no air resistance, they would fall at the same rate. It's the air that slows the feather down. Isn't that interesting? Wow, I didn't know that. So does that mean heavier things don't always fall faster? Exactly. It's a great question to explore. Scientists use tools like force meters to measure weight and make predictions. Do you know what a prediction is? It's like a guess about what will happen, right? Yes, a prediction is an educated guess. Scientists like to test their predictions by doing experiments. Would you like to try predicting and testing something? Yes, that sounds fun. Great! Let's pretend we're like Arun and Zara who made predictions about falling objects. You can use a cushion to catch them safely. Why do you think the cushion is useful? Maybe it stops things from breaking when they hit the ground. Exactly. It keeps everything safe. After testing, you can write down your results and see if your predictions were correct. What do you think you might learn from this? I might learn if heavier things really fall faster or not. That's right. And remember, even if your prediction isn't correct, it's a chance to learn something new. Now, can you tell me what you've learned about gravity today? I learned that gravity pulls everything towards the Earth, and that things fall at the same rate if there's no air resistance. Fantastic. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.